Okay, so do we- should we have story time? Alright, we'll have- we'll have story time. So, reasons why you should be sketchbooking. Reasons why it should be another limb upon your person. <laughs> why is it important to sketchbook? Well, number one, it's the safest place to learn a skill set. Um, you don't have to show anyone your sketchbook. You, it can be for your eyes only. You never have to let anyone into that personal space ever. No one that only you invite can see what you're working on. It's an easy, accessible place to experiment with technique and medium and to practice what you know you need to improve on. Like We all need to improve on anatomy, uh, but you can work on perspective, color theory, lighting, composition, you know, whatever it is that you need to hone on for your skills and no one's going to judge you. No one's going to pick it apart. Unless you open it up for critique, your sketchbook is a safe place to learn all of those principles of art and design uh, and practice them in a sketchbook. You know, because we're all learning. And uh, in art, if you're not learning, you've either given up or you're dead. It's one of the two. So. Sketchbooking is a great place to just learn. Uh, number two, all of the practice and the iteration that you do in a sketchbook builds out your visual library. So we should have a whole story time at some point about what a visual library is and why that's important, but the short and quick dirty version is that we're not really learning how to draw as artists. Uh, drawing is a skill set and a technique. Uh, anybody can learn to draw. You can teach how to draw. You can learn how to draw. But what we're really trying to learn as artists is how to see. It's how you take the world around you and translate those observations and communicate that in medium, whether it's a comic book or a video game or whatever the case is, getting that information into other people's hands as artists. And your visual library is the backlog that you've built in your brain that you can call upon to make those informed artistic design decisions to communicate what you see. So as you sketch from life and then sketchbook from imagination, you learn how form follows function and how the world around you works and then you can use those lessons as a building block in building your visual library to call upon to make creative solutions. This is what makes Kim Jong-ji, uh, his work, uh, a master class, is he was a gentleman that had a massive visual library and he could translate it into his work however he wanted, creatively giving him no limits whatsoever. And uh, most people have a learning language, whether they have to hear it and then repeat it, or they learn better by uh, transcribing or learn better by teaching someone else, whatever your learning language is, that can be translated into a sketchbook whether it's a digital file on your desktop or a clipboard with a ream of paper on it or a bound sketchbook, it gives you that opportunity to practice and build those building blocks, build that visual library in your brain. Problem solving. That would be number three. Um, problem solving. Whether you're the master or the beginner, the sketchbook is the place where you can problem solve. Art, whether it's gallery spaces or concept art, it's about problem solving. It's, it's way cheaper to throw away lots of pieces of paper with doodles all over them than it is to throw away a fully rigged and animated model. And just like it's easier to throw away storyboards than it is to throw away a ton of film footage. It's where we find the cheap and easy solutions as early as possible in production 
and giving a vision for where you want to go with your finished piece. It's like the crate problem. Every video game has a crate. It's a gameplay mechanic uh, to have breakables, and usually you find the crate earlier than later in a video game. And because every video game needs to have a distinctive look and feel and style for that breakable mechanic, uh, concept artists have to resolve what the crate looks like for every property. So, um, iteration is my art god and I pray to him often. And if I come across artists that have uh, pages and pages of crates in their sketchbooks, it's because I can see that they're creatively nimble in trying to solve that problem. Uh, as an art director, and I'm always looking at candidate work, if I have a choice between a portfolio or a sketchbook, I will look at the sketchbook first because it shows me how much they are stretching themselves, how much they're striving to keep learning, and what problems are they trying to solve and how they solve their problems through taking what they observe and translating it and solving those, those issues in visual medium. Number four, sketchbooking feeds the dragon. I call them the seven monkeys. It's a creative outlet that can be an extremely healthy way of dealing with stress, uh, exhaustion, uh, and mental health problems just in general. I'm not a mental health expert in any way. But I do know that engaging in a daily sketchbook habit is a really healthy way of building confidence and creativity, having a positive outlet, your visual library improves your memory and your focus, and just general relaxation and de-stressing. So even if your sketchbook is only for you and never for production or for anything else, you at the bare minimum gain those kinds of positive mental health aspects. And the more you sketch a book, the more these four things give you a benefit and a return. So happy sketchbooking. Whoa. <laughs>